Kites, because uh, the significance is um, very appropriate to the story of the film. If two kites are flying in the wind and they want to fall in love, or they fall in love and they want to come close to each other and they want to hug each other and just, you know, be with each other, then inevitably one sometimes cuts the other. And that's the challenge of the love story. Also kites, because um, kites seem as, you know, they're dancing in the wind, they're, they're free, but somebody else holds the strings. So destiny is not in their hands. There is a lot of action in the film, but uh, primarily it is a very sweet, honest, straightforward, simple love story. Are you saying I love you in India? Main ullu ki patti hoon. Main ullu ki patti hoon. I saw Barbara's uh, face first time in my laptop when I was in Singapore. I was uh, there for my uh, uh, knee treatment and uh, we had five more days to lock the girl. And my father called me up and he said that there's this one more name, it's Barbara. And I said, okay, fine. Uh, by that time, we had seen so many faces that I thought, ek aur naam hai. So I didn't bother. The next day he called me up and he said, what happened, you, you, you didn't like? So I said, oh, sorry, bhool gaya So I went back and I opened the laptop and I saw her face, the moment I saw her face, called up my dad and I said that she's it, she's the one, we found her. Sign on and just let's, let's start. I mean, she'll, she'll come to my house and uh, she'll hug my, hug my father, hug my mother and then she'll hug the workers in my house also. You know, so it's a very, it's something that you don't see very often where we are, you know. Here we are separated from each other that no, he's, I should not hug him, he's a servant in the house, whatever. But she'll come and she'll hug everyone. So that's a quality that is very re refreshing and uh, it's wonderful. Yeah. Anurag Basu and uh, my dad, they flew to, I think they met in New York or LA or some, some place uh, in the US and uh, they narrated the script to her and though she did, did not understand English so much at that time, she still uh, understood the essence of the film and she said that she was looking for a film like this one and uh, she loved it and she just said yes immediately. My character's name is Jay and uh, he lives and uh, he's born and brought up in Las Vegas and uh, he's kind of a street smart guy, uh, lives hand to mouth. His mission in life is to be rich because he thinks that uh, being rich will solve all his problems. And that's what leads him to the journey, into the journey of kites. He has abducted Natasha. I want you to look in every nook, every cranny. This is uh, all and out uh, Anurag Basu's uh, baby. It's, he gave expression to my father's idea, but the expression is, is, completely, is completely him. Um, he's a very, very sensitive director, you know, and his sense of screenplay is just outstanding. And the way he handles the actors, I mean, he, had, he gave us so much faith, and um, I was able to put so much faith in him that I could just let myself go. You know, sometimes we just didn't have dialogues. We, he said, this is point A, this is where the scene starts, this is point B, this is where the scene ends. How you get from A to B, it's up to you. Show me what you do. So I was uh, lucky because I had an actress like Barbara who comes from the same school of thought. And she's a very, very honest actor. She's very spontaneous. And the kind of prep that she does, I mean, on the first day only she had to do one crying scene. And she sat in one corner and she just cried the whole day. I saw that and I said, my God, you know, what am I, I'm, I have to reach that uh, kind of a level. So she inspired me and uh, I think work, working with her has made me into a better actor. Kangla just blew my mind. I mean, you, you see that song, the kind of poses she's uh, struck in the, in the song. I mean, it's, you, you think it's the, it's the work of a dancer. You know? She's absolutely unbelievable in that song. I'm very happy with the album. I'm very uh, shocked by uh, my uncle's work. Uh, in the in the film, shocked because, of course, uh, his songs have always had you know the sweetness and the melody and all that you know that's all him. Uh, but to, I went up to him and I said that you know, Chacha, I'm I'm thinking of a song uh, that I want to dance on. It's the, like a trance techno kind of uh, space, and I thought he would not 
sort of be excited about that because his personality is so calm and he's such a you know humble, peace loving, you know smooth guy. I thought he would just you know not understand that space, but look at what turned out. Uh, the fire track is is one of the best tracks that I've danced on, and uh, it was completely out of the box. Proud of uh, what we've made. We had a challenge to make an honest film, and I think we have accomplished that. Mm -hmm.